What's going on everybody? Com C for the month of April for me was a really really good month. I don't know how many other people do Com C. I'm not too um, sure like did you do real well or not during that month. So let's hit some stats up here. I know a lot of people are starting to follow this now series to see you know how it's really playing out. So Items for sale, 2220 currently. I have two items not for sale, and I'll talk about the one. One I have to get shipped back because there was like the frame or something popped out of a uh, Topps gold label. So, But uh, total sales year to date, $3,196. Uh, that's since the end of November when I started. They didn't start listing my stuff till a couple days before Christmas when I started mailing it in. 1100 items sold as of today. I purchased 26 items. You guys have gotten to see that. This is just some stuff that's sold here. These Shaq rookie hoops. Uh, Derrick Henry out of 50 Obsidian. Beam Team. This is all right now. Uh, for the month, the only thing that I bought that was not on auction, you guys. Actually, you guys seen everything. Never mind. I forgot you guys seen the Big Ben when it came in when I had the big shipment. So really nothing nothing new I bought. Uh, let's see here. Seller stats. We'll go by month. So as you can see, we're already over $100 for this month. That's really good. So for the month of April, $1,438.89 was sold for 430 items. Comes out just shy of $3.35 an item. So it does show... You can make money so far on comps, at least underneath my perspective, but finding the inventory is always very hard. you got to find collections, go through it, look up all these cards. It's it's a long process is all i got to say. I'm not just throwing like $20, $30 cards on there. I'm finding cards, you know, that are $1.50 to $5 and getting them on there. And... You know, if I'm paying 15, 25 cents a card, we'll just say a quarter a card, 50 cents to list, I'm already in for 75 cents. I sell it anywhere for a dollar to, I would say, was it 335 average? It's pretty good profit, but like I said, it's a lot of work. So, one thing I want to put out onto this so, out of this 430 cards, I counted these, 42 of the items were direct eBay buys that ComC automatically does. So when I list a card for sale, they automatically then push it to eBay too. So just under 10%, I mean it's like 9 point probably 9 something percent came from eBay. And I'll tell you some of the bigger stuff I saw put on there, what I would do is if I saw last one sold for $45, I put it up for $40 because Com C is probably going to try selling it for like $43, $44 to make their difference in whatever their deal is with eBay so I get what I'm supposed to be getting for it. Kind of hard to really explain that. Um, it took me a while to really understand it, uh, why I would list stuff on Com C, but I would find it on eBay. It was a little bit higher. It's because... They have to account for eBay fees on top of what they want to collect on top of it. So they got to raise the price up so you're still getting the same amount of money in the long term. So pretty good. Pretty good overall. I'm trying to see. Was there anything nutty on this sticky note that I wrote down? Not really. I just thought it was pretty interesting to see if 42 of these cards sold directly uh, on eBay. There were some my Upper Deck E-Pack stuff did sell during this time frame. So, I mean, if you'd wipe that out, I think it was somewhere around $4 a card, roughly. And, I don't know, if, let me see what this happens. I've never done this before. Oh, this shows all the cards it sold. <laughs> never clicked that before. So, it just gives you an idea. I mean, Matt Duchesne, I bought these for $3 a piece, you know, Game 361 onto it. Uh... Trying to see here. Anything that really stands out. Another um, golf card. Anthony Edwards Prism Rookie. Another golf auto. There was something I sold that really shocked me because all of a sudden like this guy's stuff went out of nowhere. Erlacher and Briggs out of five. 
Cameron Ward. This Leaf stuff's really weird. Uh, that's all I got to say. When I'm listing it and I'm seeing prices all over the place, I, I was surprised some of the stuff sold at what it did. There was something if I could find it here. Okay. I found this on the web for what uh, is something. Uh, 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 bad Siri. Didn't even say anything, and Siri's already trying to look up players. Um, there was something. Wow, it just shows how much I've actually so you have to go through all this stuff to try to find it. There, oh, here it is. This Leaf Limited Base Autograph Chuba Purdy out of 75, right? Um, there was a sale when I bought this at like $18, okay? By the time that Comp C got it, listed it out, there was a comp for $50 roughly. So as you can see, I put it up for $44.95 and somebody bought it. But it just shows like this stuff changes. And that, this is one of the rare instances where when I originally looked it up, it shot up like two and a half, you know, full to what it was going for. And somebody bought it. I don't know anything on them. Maybe there was something crazy going on with the guy that pushed it up. That That's the one card I will say shocked me. I was like, there's no way nobody's going to pay this. I'll put it up there and then... But my idea was it was still there in a month. I'm going to go with a low pricing and see what happens. Uh, some of this stuff I hit in breaks. I'm trying to find. I thought there was one more decent sale somewhere. That shocked me too. And it just shows you because a lot of times as soon as a player does something or people are bidding out on them. Like Christian Walker, Rookie Autos, th those let up a little bit from the time I bought them until they listed them. Um, same with this Quinn Ewers. And this, was, this is one of them examples. The last sell on this before I got it was like 40 So I pretty much made maybe $2, 3 from what I bought it at. So, a lot of times, like I said, a lot of times stuff I put on here could end up being bust, but you hopefully you find stuff that makes up for the bust and you make a little bit of profit. This Christian Braun that I had here was a, I believe this was either a redemption or I got it in part of a trade at a show. The guy threw it in it to cover $10. I remember that. Uh, a lot of smaller stuff. Like Bruce Matthews, Mosaic Script Auto, Josh Naylor, Bowman Auto, some Shohei's that actually sold. I think that was right during uh, pre... No, it might have been the start of the season there, April 7th. You guys will correct me if I'm wrong, I know that. Hmm... But a lot of baseball and football, which is expected, was baseball season starting and then football season, everybody's starting to buy now because that's usually a thing. Go to the National and try to sell all your football and make a ton of money. See, there's more of this Leaf Valiant stuff you can see. Like some of these here, I probably paid $3, $3, probably I gave 5 for that. The not big profit here. This I was just lucky on type deal. I'm just trying to guess what I paid for some of this. Is there anything else big? Nope. Okay, so that's the ninth page. So, like I said, a lot of items, as you can see. Some big, some small. And you'll still see stuff like this. Uh, was an upper deck E-pack. That one actually sold a little bit higher. I was trying to find a better example, and I probably missed it in here to where, like these here, a Toddy Tops Gypsy Queen base. <laughs> like that there, I can tell you now, I lost like eight plus, 33 cents on that. But it, it's not all about the losses. you got to get gains to hopefully I'll overcome it, plus you have stuff that's still sticking out there. Uh, like these Jalen Williams Selects. 
I probably hit them in a break, but I still lost 16 cents a pop. When I had them go, when I pushed them out originally, they were selling for $1.50-ish. I know that. So it's all about timing on a lot of this stuff. Like here, uh, Sean Alexander Crown Royal Rookie Royalty. I They were selling uh, probably around $2. And then all of a sudden, I go on there. Somebody put a whole big stack. And everybody started lowering prices. But you guys get the drift onto that stuff there. All right, we're going to go to one more thing. So I'm trying something out. And I think it's going to come to bite me in the butt big time. Look, another item just came in while we were talking. Um, to list out. I took this um, 20, 2001 SP Authentic Goose and Auto out of uh, 900 The last sale was like around $70. I just wanted to try this. So I paid originally $0.50 cents to have it listed. It was sitting there for a while. I wanted to understand like if I wanted to start selling bigger cards in... It costs two dollars to go up to their like I think it's called elite level, and once you do that, you have the option you can send it to auction on eBay. Now let me pull this; you guys will get to see it. As you can see, I got two days, oh, just a little over two days left, almost a solid three. One bit at ninety-nine cents. I'm really hoping that comes up. <laughs> Because with it being that low right now, wow. Just, it shocks me right now. But as I've seen with my own personal auctions, uh, a lot of times stuff will wait till the end till it goes up. But overall, pretty good month. Um, there's really no specials that I did see. Well, let me flip over here to Com C. I don't think so. No, I don't do Marvel and non-sports, so that's kind of a dead approach. You guys can see Select and Elite, you get 30% off submissions, auction event, blah, blah, blah. They do this a lot. Canada exclusive, yep. That sucks for us. Then it goes into their usually their gradings and stuff like that. But I try to keep an eye out with anything going on. Um, last card I bought was that big Ben on here that I got the deal on, 520. I sold my raw for 500. Figured, hey, a 9. I think it was a 9 and a 10 auto, wasn't it? Or just a PSA 9? Yeah, it was just a PSA 9 for 20 bucks more. Upgrade my uh, big Ben collection. What the heck, you know, type deal. But very impressed so far, Com C, with stuff, how it moves. You get a good bit of offer. I would probably say... 60% of what I sell, I get offers on, and I have it set to where the lowest I'll take is 80% where somebody can make an offer. Um, so it's like 20% off, and then I just look at stuff like, hey, I was already cheap on this. Uh, the other 40 is pretty much they buy it right now type deal. But that is it for the Calm Sea of April. We'll see where we're at in May. Like I said, we're already two days in. I'm almost at like $110, I think it was, for sold so far. So... We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Um, this has definitely been very good when you buy out collections and you're like, man, I want to make, you know, $2, $3, $5 boxes. Just take it and package it up to Com C type deal. The other thing is, like, if it's not something that I would want to grade, um, I'm going to, uh, like, I got here, like, Corey Dillon rookies. Uh, like patch cards, a Novelli Marte tribute out of 199 rookie stuff like that. There, I'll send to Com C. Somebody out there is gonna want it. I'll make some money and I can use it towards another card that I'm looking at out there. But it saves me a good bit of time, along with uh, getting you know both a Com C and eBay audience onto it. So I will give it still a thumbs up so far. Just not. For the amount that we went up, I don't think we're going to touch 1400 and some dollars this month. It would shock me if we do. But um, we'll see what happens. So stay tuned for beginning of June. We'll touch base again with all this stuff in May. As always, if you guys have questions, hit me up. I'll try to respond. If I respond to comments, just email me. A lot of times I don't get the Instagram messages. They float to another box uh, on there. But... If you guys got advice, put them in the comments. I'm sure people go through and read through that stuff. We just can help each other out. Learning Com C. 
All right, guys, that is it for the video. I appreciate it as always. Take care. Have a good one. I'm out.